Hey Steve, Christopher. Christopher, how are you doing? Pleasure meeting you. It's your Steve Tiller with RightStuffKids.com, right? I am. And these are some of your newest books. They're Humming Beans books, right? These are Humming Beans books. These are the Little Readers. Little Readers. And tell me about Humming Beans. Well, Humming Beans are, are, and these are just little lessons for kids. They keep telling me, people keep saying that I've got to have a, uh, a series. And so I don't, my head doesn't think in series. I think in terms of analogies. And my stories, strength get, is right? in telling, is taking a a lifetime lesson and putting it into a story that kids can understand. Mm -hmm. And so, but these, what we did was we, we knew we had to have some characters. And so I thought about that and I thought, well, we do some for, for the younger kids. Mm -hmm. And what we did was we combined some reading and with, with rules for little kids. So this one is... And the title for this book the is... The title is Good Rules for Living. Good Rules for Living. And it's just... Humming uh, Beans. Yeah, Humming yeah. Beans. Let's see. Uh, brush your teeth, make your bed, wash your face and comb your head. How we look is important. Our clothes are like your cover. No one wants to read a book with a torn and dirty cover. Um, you know, I, I am, uh, who's next, said Brave Ben. Well, I am, but mine won't rhyme, said Fair Frank. My good rule is you can't tell a bean by its spots. You should find that you should get to know a person for who they are. You might find a new friend. And so it's just little things, kind of, this is my good rule about health. It rhymes, said Healthy Head and Proudly. Eat your veggies, eat some meat before you try to eat that sweet. Then go outside and ride your bike. Go play ball or take a hike. We uh, developed about 40 of these characters. And some and of the names of the characters? Some of the names of the characters are uh, Clever Chris, uh, Thank the Truthful Tom, Discipline Don, um, wish I had better glasses mm -hmm. on, um, Smart, uh, let's see, Smart Sarah, uh, Wise William, Friendly Fred, Kind Katie, um, Fair Frank, and so there's a lot of different names. There's and Paco. There's a lot of we try to make the names. Kind and of your children just helped you design these very colorful characters. Well, all right? the characters were designed by uh, my girls. Were I started draw? I drew the first one, and then they soon kind of got interested in doing this project. Mm -hmm. And so we would draw them out, draw the characters out in uh, oil pastels, mm -hmm. and take pictures of them, and then send them up to the illustrator. Mm -hmm. And then pretty soon he got his kids involved in it. Mm -hmm. So all the bean characters were actually designed, mm -hmm. um, but for from kids that are eight to fifteen. Mm -hmm. There's four of these kids that design most of them, and then a few friends came over and also did their own beans. And then we would name the beans after the kids. Like this one is Marcy. This was designed by one of my daughter's friends named Marcy. That's Mary Marcy. Ma what's her name? Mary Marcy. Mary Marcy? M-E-R-R-Y, -R -R -Y, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, her actual name is Marcy. But right, Mary we have a, Marcy. What we did She's with Mary. this, we since our interest in, in kids' books is really to pass along um, uh, well, bedtime stories that build character. Right. We try to, try to have a story that um, we tied the characteristic with the child's name mm -hmm. in this book. And so, you know, Fair Frank. So we try to, to from the beginning, to log in mm -hmm. uh, small reminders that character is as important as names. Mm -hmm. And this one we did a Christmas story on. And this is a pretty traditional Christmas story, except it's told by beans. Mm -hmm. And it's a, uh, and it's told by two beans in particular, Giving Gabe and Loving Lauren. Because as we all know, the Christmas story is really about giving mm -hmm. and loving. Giving Gabe and giving Gabe loving, and loving Lauren. Lauren. Very nice. And it's just, uh, you know, um, you mean where God, for instance, this is, that's right, loving Lauren. The Christmas story is about love. God loves you. God loves me. There's so much love. Sometimes I have a hard time understanding it all. Me, 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 called that giving Gabe. I get to tell the rest of the story because it's about giving. You mean where God gave his son to bring us all the gift of life, smile, Lauren? That's it, the giving part. And so he goes on to, to begin to tell about the birth of uh, Jesus. But it's, a, um, it's really kind of a simple art form. Mm -hmm. The illustrator just did a great job on them, but we can kind of put these in. Mm -hmm. We're coming out with the third one of these that's all rhyme, that's called uh, Best Friends Forever, which is, that's great. which is a really, you know, because I think that kids get in trouble as they transition to mm -hmm. middle school simply because they don't have a good grounding on, on what's true friendship. Right. I mean, true friendship doesn't mean that I'm trying to get you to do things that are good for me. Yes. True friendship means I'm getting you to do things that are good for you. Mm -hmm. And so it's a it's really a kind of a conversation about how you choose your friends. And, mm -hmm. and so we're doing that one, uh, which will be out uh, this year.
and the titles are these the humming beans. These two are humming beans, and mm -hmm. one is Good Rules for Living. Right. And the other one is Humming and Beans Share the Christmas Story. Good rules, good rules for, for living. living. And the, the other one is Humming Beans Share the Christmas Share the Christmas Story. story. Got a lot of those Humming Beans. Thank you, Steve. And Thank the best you. way to reach you is Steve at RightStuffKids.com. Uh, yeah. www.RightStuffKids.com. R I G H T. Your kid got the right stuff? RightStuffKids.com. Steve Taylor. Thank you, Steve. Thanks. These are beautiful.